I've been wanting to experiment with different ways of recording audio and then putting them through my pedals. So naturally, like a lot of the ambient world and on the internet, I've been getting into my own sort of tape loops. Now, these things are a pain to make with the, the tape being so light, um, but it has been very rewarding. I just bought this very, very, very cheap $30 cassette recorder on Amazon, and it's extremely lo-fi, even for lo-fi standards, but at the same time, it's been a lot of fun experimenting with that. Um, I've also been experimenting with my phone, which you'll see in this video, using that as a way of recording audio. And then most interestingly in this video, I've been using this Zoom mic, which records in a very nice stereo field. I've been using this Zoom mic to record all this audio, make a very uh, stereo kind of recording, and then put it through my stereo pedals to widen and warm up and make even more beautiful the tones we have. So that's the goal of today. Let's see how it turns out. I'll see you all in the video. Here's the start of our setup. On the left, we have my tape loop and cassette recorder slash player. On the right, we have my cell phone with a recording app that lets you play back the loop continuously. And then in the center, I have my Zoom uh, recorder. So what I did off screen was, is I played my saxophone loop, or I just played some saxophone while simultaneously recording here and recording here. Um, I tried to play and stop them both, or record and stop them both at the same time so that they'd be as close as possible. But since this is a tape loop, I can guess, but I can't really ever know exactly how long they are, which is kind of nice for this kind of experimental piece because when I play them both back simultaneously, either the tape loop will be a little bit shorter or a little bit longer than what I've guessed. So the longer they play simultaneously together, the further and further they'll become unsynced and one will be slightly behind or slightly ahead and it will gradually keep going more and more and more extreme that way. Again, that's nice because it adds to the experimentalness of this. Now the key here is this Zoom microphone or recorder because I set it up to record in a stereo field. So this side of the microphone is gonna pick up the cassette tape loop and while this side is gonna pick up the phone. Now with this, we've already created um, a sort of stereo ambient lo-fi kind of song, right? And then eventually we'll get into the pedals, but let's get there when we get there. Let's go ahead and start recording um, on, the, on the Zoom mic. So let me start playing them right now together. And then I'll hit record on this. The reason I wanted to stop there because that was probably about as synced as they're going to be. So that's going to create a really, really nice kind of coming together as the song plays on when we put them in the pedals, which is the next step. So let's go ahead and hop into the pedals. So for this next part, we've already created our nice stereo piece. It exists in this recorder. And now what we want to do is put it through some effects, some stereo effects to make it even bigger, warmer, and play around with it and experiment more. So first things first is that I have a TRS cable coming out to the auxiliary. So I got the zoom to the auxiliary adapter to the TRS stereo out into the microcosm. Now we have to make sure that the microcosm is in stereo input. So you need to hold both these buttons to go to global. Okay, then you hit the activity knob and the one white light means it's mono. So we go to the double, which means stereo, hit select, and then we are in our stereo inputs. So now we exit out, turn this microcosm on, and I'm gonna go ahead and play the loop and record it into the microcosm so that we have recorded in here into there so I can play on top of it. So let me bring it up. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
So there you have it. We have our nice stereo sound. You can hear it going through. Very lo-fi. And what we're going to do is just start adding some things. So turn that off for a second. So one thing that this and my very cheap cassette player don't have is things like half speed and all those really nice tape things that we get. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our loop back in and we're going to adjust it to half speed. Very nice. We're also going to throw it in reverse because that's always nicer, right? Now to give it, before we put any microcosm effects, we're going to give it some stereo out from the polymoon. Very nice. And then I have it set to pre-effects so that the loop will feed into whatever effect. In this case, microcosm A, or mosaic A, so let's bring that in. Very nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in my microphone into the pedal board and then I'll be able to play on top of the nice loop that I just created. So thanks for sticking around this far. Here's the last improvisational piece.